Hello and welcome to Drawing with the Blakelys. I'm the one they call Dad. I am the one they call Bennett. And Bennett, who are we drawing today? We are drawing Nemesis. That's right. The one and only. From the Resident Evil 3 remake. Also the same version who is in... Dead by Daylight? That's correct. Thank you to Daniel Craft Nightmare for suggesting this guy. I've actually been wanting to draw Nemesis for a while, so I'm glad that somebody suggested it. Him? It? It? Him? We'll call him him. Yeah, he's got some very masculine uh, facial and uh, body. Well, he doesn't have a lot of his eyes. Because one of his eyes is covered up by stitches. Let's see, sure. But I am going to start, since that's the place that we always start, I'm going to go ahead and start there. And, yeah, I'm also going to do his nose. Now, this is one of the, I think, the more interesting features of this dude. Is the fact that his nose is just so crooked. It's like the person who stitched it on there just, like, did not care. Well, there's not an eye, per se. There is sort of a... An area. A little nugget. A little, yeah, a little kind of thing going. Let's also have a number of what looks up like stitched up areas here. I remember seeing this, uh, I remember seeing this, uh, drawing tutorial back in the day. Mm-hmm. That wasn't ours, believe it or not. Well, <laughs> I since, would assume it wasn't ours since you talked about seeing it and not being a part of it. But anyway, mm -hmm. halfway through the video, they were, like, growing a coffin, and, like, halfway through the video, the guy accidentally makes a mistake, and the dad's like, it's okay, we're gonna cover that part up. And I'm just like there, I'm just like, what, what happened? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> I definitely don't, if, if you don't know, I don't know, because I don't even know what you're talking about. I'll have to show you it. Okay, you show me it sometime. Alright, so now we're going to do the mouth, which I again is, I think, one of the more interesting parts here. You got these big, long teeth. And it's like, it's like the skin has been peeled back around the jaw. Or well, what appears to look like a jaw. Well, I mean, assuming with teeth that there's some kind of jaw or something in there. I don't know, this guy is... Let's just say he's not winning any beauty contests. You know what I mean, Bennett? Yeah, I can not relate to, to this guy. Not to, <laughs> not to judge uh, a made-up creature on their looks, but to say he makes the uh, folks from the Hills Have Eyes look attractive. Well, I mean, I'd say more attractive than they already are, but sure. If you want to go that route, then sure, absolutely attractive. Oh my gosh, you're really blazing through this one, dude. Oh yeah, my bad. Mm. Just trying to get every little bit. Ugh. What? Oh, this dude is just like scar tissue and weirdly stretched skin. Well, that's because that the government made this creature to eliminate some sort of uh, thing. It's in Resident Evil. I don't know. I don't remember Resident Evil. <laughs> 
So when you said the government made this, what you meant was you don't actually know what's No, going no, on. no, no, no. The government asked the Umbrella Corporation, well, I mean, the Umbrella Corporation was trying to cover up what happened in Raccoon City. So they developed this, so they developed Nemesis to kill so, some of these survivors in the city. I think they were part of a specific group called like Stars or something. They were trying to get rid of all the Stars members. So uh, they couldn't leak what happened. Sure. So they made this. I know some stuff about the lore. I don't know. Part of what I know also comes from the movies, which I know don't really have much to do with the game necessarily. Although this guy does appear in one of the movies. I Man. remember seeing him in it. Hey, Dad. Hmm. Unrelated question to the video, but. Mm -hmm. Can we watch My Feet Pi Python and the Holy Grail someday? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, me and the boys, we talking about it around the table. We were also talking about Life of Brian, the uh, other My Feet Python film. Brody didn't see it. We were talking about that one scene, the mm -hmm. scene. You don't need to get us demonetized there, dude. I'm not, I whispered in your ears so the people will never know. Well, but why bother talking about it if you can't talk about it? Uh, when huh? you put it like that... It kind of seems silly. Yeah. Why didn't you notice that little tiny piece of flesh popping out? This guy does have a lot of details. You can be forgiven for not noticing every one of them. Just like our viewers will hopefully forgive me if I don't notice each and every one of them and record them properly. Just trying to make something that looks close enough. And that looks like a thing. A thing? Yeah. What kind of thing there, Haas? Oh, what Nemesis looks like. <laughs> Folks, I'm just waiting for the reference image to change, because I... I think you could probably add a few more details. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come, on. Come on now, son. Papa raised me better than this. I mean, I wouldn't go that far, but... You know. Papa's at least trying. Alright. Oh, there's just so many gross, wet looking details. Stretch skin, mutated skin. Scars, pits, globs of flesh. You could call them that, yeah, sure. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Alright. Going to the somewhat easier portion here, which is the Questionable black hoodie that he's wearing. Well, that doesn't seem to be a hoodie. It looks more like a leather, leather straps. Yeah, kind of looks like what a tie. What I'd expect to see on a tire. <laughs> this is what you normally see tires wearing. You're saying? No, I mean like the the specific color of black and then what then the mm -hmm. texture kind of look makes it look like. It'd be on the surface of a tire. But you know, that might be me. Uh, maybe. Guys, I think new lore should be added in where it actually turns out that Nemesis got this from a, a, t a big old tire. <laughs> 
but you know, that's just me. Yeah, that's just crazy old Bennett for you. I don't like them put chemicals in the water that do weird stuff to the frogs. Okay, Alex Jones. side for a little bit so I don't want to get too far away from what I'm doing here Like you can see little bits of his flesh kind of poking out here, here and there. Man, huh. we aren't even at the coloring part and it's already taken us. Long to do. Yeah, it takes how long it takes. I don't feel like it's that long. I don't know. There's a lot of detail here. Um, I'm gonna do what next? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this again. Fabric, pl plastic, whatever it is. I think it's kind of like a. Sort of like, um, I mean, what it looks like more than anything is just like plastic or rubber like bandages wrapped all around them, pinned almost, together. Almost kind of like duct tape, kind of, but also not. Let me go ahead and do this side there, I might as well do this side as well. So, to define his, his features a little bit before we go back in and do all the details. Yeah, it kind of looks a little bit like he's wrapped up in a bunch of hefty plastic, like, garbage bags. He almost looks like he's, in a kind of like, um, kind of like a, um, I just want to say this, like a garbage bag. Yeah, that's what I just said. Oh. A garbage, <laughs> that's what I meant by a hefty bag. Garbage and, uh, electrical tape. <coughs> <sighs> Yeah, well, whatever it is. Ugh. Whatever it is. A leather robe or a whatever. It's it's shiny. It's black. It's keep bouncing around back and forth, but, you know. Man, I ate some pizza earlier today, and I didn't let it cool off, and my tongue is still... Oof. That sounds thoroughly unpleasant. It is. <laughs> what are you doing, man? I'm, I'm, I'm singing the Luigi theme. The Luigi theme, eh? Yeah, the Luigi's Mansion theme. I'll have to, man, I remember some of the greatest moments of my life and some of the most memorable ones were when I would wake up, I would grab my tablet, I would sit down on the ground and I would listen to Zack Scott Gaming. Well, that's what you were saying before. I know, it's still technically... You just, you're having a little nostalgia, is that what's going on here? Yeah. I remember... We'd only, we'd only watch a couple of videos by him. There, he used to post a lot of plants, just zombies. And he used to post a lot of, the, like, the jazz. And I remember, he was my first introduction to Bioshock. Because I tried to watch the JT music video and I got too scared. <laughs> so 
like halfway through the song, they like show a a big daddy, which is the name of one of the characters in the game. I swear, and yeah, I think considering that we've drawn him on this channel, I think hopefully everybody knows what a big daddy is. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, being one myself, I'm pretty sure I know. <laughs> different kind of. I guess I'm a different kind of big daddy. I'm the kind that has a, just a ton of kids. Look up the leg. Oh, mm. I can't drop oh. the legs. I don't think I'm gonna have room for him either. I don't think I'm gonna have room for him either, my bud. Here, I'll just draw this little. I wanted to be able to draw the sort of head area in some greater detail, so I kind of scaled it up a little bit from our the scale of our reference image. Hmm. You know, it's odd. I always find about a lot of very interesting things in a lot of very interesting ways. Like, I remember... I know I just found out about Bioshock kind of recently, but it turns out I actually knew it far long ago than I actually thought I did. No, okay. There were actually a lot of videos made about it back in the day that I just kind of forgot about. Mm-hmm. And then I started watching more Bioshock videos and I was like, oh. Oh, Bioshock. That's the video from the thing I watched back when I was young. Mm-hmm. And same thing with that Zack Scott Gaming guy too. He also did a video about it back in the day. It's been around for a while. It has been since 2007. And yes, we are still looking forward to Bioshock 4. Wait, we are? I am. Oh, okay. I mean, sure. P our, our community has been waiting for Bioshock 4 longer than the Gravity Falls community has been waiting for a third season, a season of Gravity Falls. Pretty but sure Gravity Falls is done. Yeah, but here's the difference between us and them. Gravity <coughs> Falls is over, but Bioshock has very thick evidence that's gonna come back. If you say so, man. They Listen, I'm not trying to crap talk all you Bioshock fans, but uh, I think you might. What is uh, <laughs> what does Michael Jordan say? Stop it. Get some help. What? <laughs> you don't need help. The the people who made it and done right to this coming out soon because they mm -hmm. got they got the guys who made Mafia working for them. They got guys in the Mafia working for them? No, they got guys who made a game called Mafia working. Yes, I, I know what the game of Mafia is. Oh, my bad. Hi. You know, this reminds me. I saw a video one time. It was a modded video. And Shrek was like a, was like a Mafia kingpin. Mm-hmm. As character, and I think there's Elmo and Goofy involved. That sounds really dumb. It was kind of not gonna lie. Not that I think you're dumb for bringing it up, but just. To no, no, I know what you mean. All right. Luckily, this part's gonna go a lot faster. Yes, folks. I know you've been waiting for a while. I mean, hopefully they've been drawing along with us, or, you know, or they keep up. Oh yeah, good point. But by the time that we are making this video, it has been approximately one day. Yeah, we had some tough technical difficulties. Yeah, you also, see when we got I had some, some technical difficulties in my speaking. When we got around here, the camera turned off. And we had to take a break for a day, and Dad had to charge up his camera. It was a awesome. Well, on that note, let's...
color this hulking behemoth of a man? Let's do it. Goopy goop thing. Ooh, Nemesis. Nemesis. This dude is not somebody I'd want to run into ever for any reason. <laughs> or first in my or first in my small apartment while I'm trying to uncover a secret government conspiracy, which is how one of the characters finds him. Sounds awful. Make sure to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> hey! You trying to steal my job, mister? No. I don't take kindly to people who steal my job. You know what I do? No. I send a nemesis after him. <gasps> no. As a matter of fact, boom, come to life. Darn it, didn't happen. Sorry, everybody. I thought I could do it. That's a very big sin. Very big sin. All right, well, there you have it, friends. Hopefully, you enjoyed this. If you didn't, uh, please send us a self addressed stomped envelope and we will return all the money you spent on this. Of course. <coughs> Anyhow. On your screen you should see our logo. Go ahead and click on that and you can subscribe. Assuming you haven't already. If you've already subscribed, it just takes you to our channel. So either way, go ahead and click on it. It's like a win-win situation. Uh, <laughs> don't forget to um, Scenario, I mean. like this video. And don't forget to leave your comments, your suggestions, your compliments, and all the rest down below in the comment section. Till next time. Bye. Bye.